Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be summoning for Hay in Anime Last Stand. So if you guys do not know who that is, it's the newest summonable ultimate unit inside of Banner 2. So we're going to go ahead and try that. They came up with some new things like Auto Cell, Banner 2 Beta, and Fast Banner. So we're going to go ahead and use those. That should help me a lot. So we're going to go over and we're going to summon for her. We have 161,000 gems, but before we do get into summoning, I'm going to be giving someone 10,000 Robux at 50,000 subs. We're only a few hundred subs off. So let's try to get us there if you guys are not subbed already. Make sure to do that. Of course, make sure to like the video let's get straight into summoning okay it's selling them but it's showing them still okay that's pretty cool so let's get our auto clicker open it's definitely a lot slower than the other auto cell but this does kind of make sense it was a little bit too fast and broken for summoning it's still really fast like this this is fine uh, we'll just have to like look a lot Sung Jin Woo. Those are the, that's the secret phrase to get uh, his wife, Xiao Hei, whatever the f her name was. All right, we got her. We got her. We got her. We got her. Right? Yes, we got her. Oh my God! Thank you. Oh, I'm only at 72,000 gems now. I just took like 100k or something to get. I don't even know. We finally got Xiao Hei though, or I don't even know her name. It's something Hei. We got 25 rerolls from the codes. Let's just use them on her. Hopefully, get ourselves a celestial trait, please. Don't even know if the unit's good, but uh, I probably should have kept that juggernaut, shouldn't I? Ooh, ooh. Oof, damn. Wow. Wait, my unit's level 85. So I don't really play the game that much, but wasn't it 75 or am I tripping? Um, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's get Hay right here. We're gonna do a little showcase for her. There she is right there. She actually even has an aura. Nice, okay. This game is definitely cooking now, and they do have titles. I saw we got Summoner doing that. And on top of that, they have a bunch of other stuff. So profile, it shows all your stats right here, but this is just like, yeah, this is new stuff. None of it's counting yet. Total playtime's 34 minutes. 
1.5k summons. That's how many summons it took to get her. Um, total emerald spent. It took us 90,000 emeralds to get her. Okay. 62,000 kills. I guess that's what I currently have on the units I have equipped right now. Doesn't my Gojo have like, doesn't this guy have like a few hundred thousand kills or am I tripping? This man has 340,000 kills. How are you going to tell me I have 60,000 total kills? Okay, whatever. Let's go over to infinite. I still have not done the story mode from the last update, which I think they even added... No, they actually did not add a new story mode. Okay, we'll do Nightmare Star Mansion because that's all I have right now. This is also a level 1 showcase, by the way, so it's not going to get any better than this. And she only costs 500 on placement, word. Okay, we can place her instantly then. This is her placement right here. Place her right there. She is a line on placement. 6.6k is actually really good for a placement. 8 upgrades is what I like to see. And 6.5 seconds, 23 range, not bad. Her line is definitely bigger than Yuta's, at least. Unit VFX. What was that? She just blew on them and they died. Nah, she didn't do nothing. I forgot to bring all the other farms. I should have brought them. I wasn't really focused on it. I look, you got to get back into this game. I can't get back into it. Um, there's been like, yeah, I had to get back into it, boys. So I don't know. But let's just go ahead and farm a few waves. Try to get this like relatively max. And then we'll start upgrading. Oh, no, man, I have Sukuna. I thought I was about to say.
Alright guys, so we're just gonna start upgrading her right now. We're not even gonna get the last upgrade for best waifu, it doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and place her right here. She's not hitting air, so we have Sakuna back here. We're gonna sell him now. But all placement, 6.6k. Second, our first upgrade, 24.5k. A massive increase with a little bit of range. Upgrade to 41,126.2 range in a 6.5 second SPA. The next upgrade, 66.2k and a new ability called Energy Beam, which now is a circle AoE. Nice. Okay, let's see this attack. Okay, decent little attack i don't think it's gonna be anything crazy till we get till we get to like the last attack maybe in second to last if there's another one after this 66.2k to 85.7k and it is also a plus one spa unfortunately 85.7k to 99.6k 99.6k to 145k 29.4 range to 35.7 and super slam attack and now it is full aoe nice it is also hybrid i don't know what upgrade you got the hybrid at let me just like how much oh she's really expensive okay so you probably didn't need that extra upgrade well this right here her next attack actually doubles her damage 145k to 276k 37.8 range and her last upgrade 276k to 384k 47.2 range so a massive range buff w and this is with scope one by the way i don't think yeah it doesn't have anything special on it it's just pure damage it's a, i mean it's a good full aoe damage 400k i don't know how well that is level one i know it is pretty good when the old developers stopped developing the game they got a new dev team the best units you'll see only do like 80k so i wonder what this will be doing max with no trait probably like five mil i don't know maybe it's on par with saitama we don't know bro i don't know but when does it get its hybrid let me check it gets hybrid on upgrade three this circle aoe right here so it only costs 11k yeah around 11k for it and it is also a two placement that is probably why it's doing so much damage but yeah still a good unit i can't max out another one but yeah that's gonna be for this video thank you guys for watching peace out